Next attribute to talk about is the obsolete attribute. This used to be a big deal back in the early days when it seems like everybody was pushing out code and then they realized they did a bad job and wanted to change it up. Let me just show you. That I, uh, ideally, this attribute you'd use in some DLL that you're publishing. Maybe you publish some code and you find out you want to change it to a different approach. The old code is obsolete. So then what you would do is reship your old code with the obsolete attribute tag to it. And that would flag the user that you have deprecated some of the, your old code and they should use some new code. So let me just do a contrived example here. Static void me first attempt at an awesome algorithm. Okay, and let's just say my most epic code is right here. Some awesome code, like so. And then, and well, well actually, I'll I'll just put this in its own class. Why not class me awesome class? And sorry, I I didn't do very well in in school with English. I prefix everything with me. Let me make this public here. And then down here, I'm going to say me awesome class dot me first attempt at an awesome algorithm. Hopefully the output is not too astonishing. Some awesome code right there. But then let's say a year or two later, I find out that I could do a better algorithm, but for some reason I have to put it in a different method. Okay, ideally I would just replace my old al algorithm with a new one and then ship like that. That'd be great versioning, but once in a while, maybe I change my API up and I find out that my API is clunky, so I want to do something new and that sort of thing. So what I do is uh, up here, I'd, I'd reship this class, but then I would say obsolete, like so. And there's some arguments here. I can say, hey, I found a better way to design this API, please see. Uh, this is getting kind of long, isn't it? I'm going to put a. Uh, well, let's just do string concatenation. Well, why not? Let's do an at symbol here. Please see uh, my new API API for a better approach. Okay, hopefully you're familiar with this at symbol. It allows me to just type out a string on multiple lines like that, and then I don't have to do escape sequences. It's, escape sequences are pretty much dead at this point, so if you want to do a lot of HTML, the at way, the at is a way to go. Anyway, uh, let's close that. Obsolete attribute, and if I build this, uh, it doesn't give me an error, but it does give me a warning. It's saying, hey, um... This is obsolete. Hey, I found a better way to design this API. Please see my new API for a better approach. Oh, that's funny. I put a new a new line in there because I rolled it to the next line. Let's just back it up and have a really long line there. That kind of hurts. That's, but then we get a better message. Hey, I found a better way to design this API. I guess I could concatenate two strings if I wanted all to show up. I could go like this and just do that. Nah, yeah, maybe that's better. I'm probably taking too long on that. Uh, okay, good. So we get a warning. Notice we get the warning here as well. Nice green line. There's more arguments you can pass this obsolete. If we look, bull error. Okay, the error means, hey, I'm not warning you. I'm telling you. Okay, so if I say true there, now when I try to build, I actually get an error. It's saying, hey, don't do this. Okay, you can't do this. The compiler's not going to let you do it. Just don't do it. Okay, and then, I believe, is that it? Yep. That's it. We don't have to provide a message. We don't have to provide an error. We can just say, hey, this is obsolete, and that's enough. And we still get the warning, and it just says, hey, it's obsolete. No reason, no no rhyme, it's just obsolete. And so that could be a flag to us that we'd want to not use this anymore because it will be deprecated soon. Anyway, that's the obsolete attribute. It's another attribute that the c -sharp compiler will respect, and we've just seen the behavior that the compiler uh, has when we use the obsolete attribute.